Actually, by the time I, I like, set up, so I, uh, that's a great start. By the time I set up everything up, like the camera and the microphone and, and the lighting and all this, uh, by the time I've done that, my tea's like, my tea's like basically finished and it's kind of, it's getting a little bit cold, but it's, it's not finished and it's, it's still tea, so, you know. I can never say no. So, this is podcast number, what is it, seven? I think so. Basically, I, I wasn't planning on doing this tonight. But I'm going away in a few days and I thought I better do it, but I wasn't really feeling like the energy, the motivation. But then I just suddenly thought, like, I just suddenly got found some motivation to just sort of get on with it, to be honest. Which sounds bad, but, like, really, I just, I just, I'm just low on energy today, man. I don't know what it is. Like, have I recorded any videos today? I have recorded, yeah, I've recorded a couple, I think. Um, or one, what's that? I don't know. I can't be really bothered remembering. But basically... I'm just going to sit back, lads, and just sort of chat at you for however long this is because I'm just really low energy today. <laughs> and I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to beat around the bush or be, you know, lie. And see, we've got a problem here. Our problem here is that it's really hot in this room right now, but it's raining outside and it's windy outside. And I don't want the rain to get in through the windows, but if I shut the windows, then it's get so hot in here. It's going to get so hot in here, sorry. And I'm just going to be, I'm going to be even more low energy. I'm going to be literally falling asleep in front of your eyes. So, I don't know what to do. I'm in, a I'm in a dilemma. I don't even know if everything's like set up properly. Hang on, I'm testing. Hang on, I'm I'm gonna brush your eardrums here. Hang on. Okay, this <laughs> that's um, this isn't very sort of um you know we're not really getting straight into it. I'm kind of wasting your time right now, but I'm in a dilemma. I should probably shut those to be honest actually. Hmm. I think I can leave this one open also. Might as well. I'm gonna shut one. I might as well shut both. You know, no point in doing a half-ass job. So, yeah. Sorry, I've wasted your time for about like two minutes. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll keep that. You know what? I don't even care. I'm just really low energy. I just can't really be asked to do anything. So I'm just gonna speak about these topics because I haven't done a podcast in like how long has been. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sitting up right now. Actually, I, you know what? Fuck it. I don't even care if I'm not sitting up. I'm just in that sort of that sort of mindset, that sort of attitude. I just don't care to be honest. You know, I don't care what you think about me. And you know what? It, that's fine. Maybe. I don't know what. I'm getting a bit delirious already. I don't know what I'm talking about. Like I said, when you're this low energy, I just sort of want to have a chat and I'm just going to sort of chat bollocks at you for an hour. So if you're if you're in in um in for that up for up for that sort of thing, then uh, sick. So yeah. Since the last podcast, since it was like well like a month ago or something, like more than that. Um Basically, I've got this note in my phone, which you probably know if you've watched the previous podcasts or listened to them or whatever. Uh, you'll know that I have, like, a, like a note on my phone where, like, if I'm, like, it's in the middle of the day or in the middle of the night and I think of a podcast topic, then I can put it down in here. I'll speak about it in the next one. And because I haven't done one in so long, I've got loads. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to sort of go through the interesting ones and just sort of ramble. I haven't really prepared for this at all. Like I said, really low energy. My tea is going to be going to be gone. Tea's gone. We're not even. We're not even in the first topic. That's a great. That's a great time. So, like I said, kind of really low energy to, to be honest today. Um, but I'm just gonna sort of chat with you for a while. We can just have a chilled out chat, which is what a podcast kind of is meant to be. So, what are we gonna do? First off, I think I should probably. Oh, man, I'm tired. I don't know why I'm tired. I just feel really low energy. But you know what? I'm gonna power through. I'm going to power through. So. You've probably seen the title. Why why am I skiving? Why am I being so goddamn lazy with YouTube? Basically, it's not <sighs> Okay. 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 Lads. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna share a bit of my life with you right now. I'm gonna be completely honest with you right now. Because like be, uh, I don't know. I don't know what that was to be honest. There's not really, it didn't that this topic doesn't really need that whole big build up. Basically, like with this whole like recently with YouTube, I've been sort of very like it's very much just a like it's, it's a fun thing that I do I love making videos but obviously you know I want to do it in my own sort of time and like I said in the um, last Rocket League video I'm not like you know Rocket League's really the only game I'm playing at the moment there is much variety on the channel and it's just like you know that sort of doesn't limit how many videos I can make but just sort of you know if it's I'm just churning out Rocket League then I want to make a sort of you know I don't know it's basically I just sort of want to make a video when I feel like making a video. I don't want to feel like I have to upload, you know, not obviously not every day, but like, oh, if I don't get a video out every two, three days, then something's something terrible is going to happen, you know. 
it's very much just a fun thing I do, and you know, you may you may be thinking they're like, oh, but if you want to get big on YouTube, you're gonna to have to upload consistently. Well, I don't give a shit, you know what? Because obviously I want to succeed on YouTube, and obviously I want to want to get big. But like, if I'm not having fun doing it, then it doesn't really matter, does it? So, I mean, that's me just being completely honest with you. It's so hot right now, dude. It's so warm in here. I don't know how to make it cooler. Um, I might just have to. Okay, I'm gonna open those windows because it's way too warm. Hopefully the rain will just sort of sort of roll off the windows and it won't like, I don't know, get in the walls or something. Um, I don't know. Oh, why is the pop filter doing that? Don't do that, mate. There. Okay, um, but yeah, so what was I saying? Uh, yeah, about me skiving. Um, but like I said, like, it's not like I I'm a big YouTuber with like thousands of su subscribers. Like, you know, e you know, if I say like, I, I just want to make a video when it, like I feel like it, when I'm happy to make it, when I feel the motivation, and I want to make it, and I want, you know, because if I want to make the video, then it's gonna be a much better video than if I, if my force, if I force myself into like making the video or, you know, like I said in the last Rocket League video, playing a game that I don't want to play, because like all, I, all I really play is Rocket League at the moment, predominantly. I don't want to like just force myself into making, it's playing another game just for variety on the channel. I just want to sort of put out whatever I want to put out and whenever. I, whenever I want to put it out I'm really bad with speaking in general um so that's me just being completely honest it's not like loads of you are like you know you know rabid fanboys or whatever like you know me I'm like it's not like I'm a big YouTuber with thousands of subs like you have to upload really consistently otherwise I'm gonna like leave. like most of you are just like like me like you're uploading video pretty much all of you I think upload videos most of you to be honest upload your own videos with your own channels and you you understand like you're in the same situation I'm in. It's not like, you know, if I don't upload, like, for a while, then you're not really going to care. You're going to be like, well, you know, I understand, like, what he's doing. Like, he's, you know, YouTube, you can't always be consistent all the time. Or, like, you know, it's not, I mean, it's not your channel, so, like, so why should I care? If he uploads a video, then great, I'm going to watch it. If he doesn't, then it's not really my problem. He's doing something else. Which is, like, I don't know if it sounds bad, but it's just me being completely honest. Like, obviously, I want to, I love do, making videos, and I want to be successful with it, but I don't want to just, like, burn myself out and force myself into making videos when I'm not enjoying it, because, like, just right now, I'm enjoying this, but it's, like, because I've thought before, you know, I'm going to make a video, and I'm going to enjoy it. It's not like, oh, I have to make a video quickly, otherwise something terrible is going to, like, nothing's, you know, it's just, it's just a hobby. So, like, that's why I've been, like, inconsistent over the, well, that's not the only reason why I've been, haven't been uploading that much um it's been mainly rocket league and then it sort of just went down for like a week and then i've uploaded the last rocket league video on this podcast and um i've been i've been doing other stuff in life like it's been the holidays so you'd think that'd give me more time but i don't know i've just been sort of enjoying doing nothing it's been quite like bad weather recently so i've just been like doing shit <laughs> like playing rocket league um trying to study and stuff you can see some of that stuff over there um, because I've got, like, homeworks for, like, the first day back and, like, tests when we go back and stuff like that. Uh, so I've been doing a bit of that and, like, um, doing a bit, like, research into, like, you know, all this careers and uni bullshit that I have to, every teenager has to do at this sort of age and, um, just sort of do, not, not pursuing other avenues of life, but just sort of not, not even taking a break from YouTube, just, like, allowing myself the freedom to, like, do other things and look into other things and, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna, from now on, I'm just, like, I'm trying to get out of the mindset that I've had for a long time, it's like, oh, I have to upload a video, or, you know, I'm, like, because I feel like that makes me even more inconsistent, where it's like, oh, I haven't uploaded, now I feel demotivation, I don't want to upload it for even longer, whereas if I have this mindset where I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna upload when I want, not, not put pressure on myself to upload consistently, Obviously, <laughs> obviously uploading consistency is, is good, but it's like, I'm gonna upload a video, I'm gonna make a video when I want to make a video, and then, you know, we're all, we're all happy, because, you know, it's just, that rain's gonna annoy me. Basically, that's why I've been quite, that's why I've been skiving, as it says in the title, skiving, but, you know, I have been doing other things, I haven't just, just been sitting on my arse, although I have been doing a lot of that, just because, you know, that's, that's what I do. It's what we all do, well, not all of us, but some of us, um... So yeah, that's basically what what's been going on in my life recently. So yeah, that's that's just me being completely honest. Like, like I've I've just recently picked up this whole mindset with the YouTube thing. It's like I do love it. I still have the exact same passion. That hasn't changed at all. But it's like I just want to have fun with it, and I just want to be completely honest with you because it's not like you know I'm a big YouTuber. And I have to sort of sugarcoat things and sort of cover like how I'm 
feeling and be a bit sort of sort of censor myself almost it's like i shouldn't have i'm not censoring myself with you guys because like most of you i know you and you're just like not in like real life but as in like inter we're internet friends we're <laughs> that sounds really creepy um but you know we have like a little community here almost like you know and like you know you know who you are and it's like most of you are like me you upload videos like me and we're all small youtubers together i guess you know it's us us against the world type thing yeah but you know you know, I'm just being honest with you guys, and like, you know, you can be honest with me, and we'll all just be on the same page. So, yeah, I'm still as passionate about YouTube, obviously, that hasn't changed at all, I love making videos. But I just want to not put, not put so much pressure on myself, and just like, and by doing that, I feel like I'm enjoying making videos more, I'm a bit more consistent, a bit more consistent, maybe, in theory, I don't know. I mean, I haven't really proved that with the last week, but... Um, I found I found a hole in my plan actually, in my a, a flaw in my theory. I'm not more consistent, but you know what? We'll leave that for now. But yeah, so that's that's what I've been thinking about recently. So yeah, that's that's basically why I haven't been as consistent. Maybe I'll get more consistent. It'll pr probably come in like patches, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm just sort of rolling with it at the moment. That's kind of my outlook on life. Um, when exams start again, then that's probably gonna probably gonna change slightly, and the stress will return. So yeah, that's that's filled in about ten minutes ish. So what what's the next one? What's next? I was going to talk about that whole. Uh, I don't like the I don't like it raining and the windows being open. You know what? It's fine. I've done it before. It's fine. Um, I was going to speak about that whole YouTube is over party hashtag thing. You know the whole new YouTube policy that came out. That shows you how long ago, you know, how long it's been since I last did a podcast. Since that's all been done, but I feel like everything's been said on that. It's like I can't even really remember what it was about. I know what it was about, but it was just a big thing at the time, and I don't really. It doesn't really matter. It hasn't really affected anyone that much. It seems, or <laughs> it has apparently, but it, I don't need to get into it. You all know what the whole thing is, but um, yeah. What's hmm. What should we speak about? Um, okay, a bit more of a light-hearted topic. I got stung by a wasp the other day. The other day, like, weeks ago now. Um, but, you know, it's like... It was like, you know, mid-September. It's starting to get a bit colder. The bees and the wasps are starting to, like, die and, like, you know, go into hibernation. Do they go into hibernation? I don't think they... They probably they probably don't live that long to go into hibernation. I don't know. Basically, you know, all the wasps and the bees are sort of, you know... You know, just sort of disappearing when the colder weather comes back and so there was one in my room literally like I woke up one morning right to get up and oh man my nose itches and I was about to walk out the door I was like get all my stuff ready about to walk out the door go uh walk down to the bus to go to school obviously and I saw this wasp uh I think I, I think I, I put the window open I opened the window and then a wasp flew in the morning and I didn't really have time to like do anything about it because I was ju literally just going out the door. I was like, okay, mom, there's a wasp in my room. Can you like deal with it like when I'm gone? And she's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. So I go to school. I'm like, okay, mom's going to deal with it if she if the wasp doesn't fly out the window when I'm gone. So I come back from school. I'm like, okay, the wasp isn't there. I didn't ask mom about it just because... I just sort of forgot about it. Then I went upstairs. I was like, oh, yeah, what about the wasp? And it wasn't there, so I just sort of assumed she dealt with it. So I sit down in this very spot um i'm like go on my computer do some just watch some videos and you know just chill out when i've come home from school that sort of thing and then i move the chair back i stand up and i stand on something spiky i feel like it might be one of these little like um like one of these things well, not even like that's way too sharp but like one of those little sort of gold circular pin things you know something sharp i, I still know something sharp and it hurt and then and, and then i was like ow and i lift my foot up and I thought, okay, I thought the pain would recede then because I thought it was like a pin or just something like sharp. But the the pain didn't go away. It got even worse and worse. And I was like, oh, what the hell is that? So I lift up my foot and on the bottom of my foot, on the on my sock, it, st it stuck through my sock was the wasp. That same wasp. I don't know if it, I don't know if it was the same wasp. It must have been the same wasp. It was, I, th I stood on the wasp because the wasp was, I think it must have been like dead or sleeping or something like that on the floor like for like 10 minutes while I was just sitting there here like doing bullshit on my computer and then I stood up and I stood on the wasp and then it stung me through my sock as I stood on it and it was stung the bottom of my foot and <laughs> it's, it's quite funny looking back on it actually and um yeah but it really hurt like I just lifted my foot up and literally I saw this wasp sticking out my foot and I was like what the fuck why is that there so then I 
and, and it's really so that's the first time an urban's ever been stung by a wasp that's that's a story to tell people like i got stung by a wasp the wasp was dead and it wasn't moving how did how did you get stung by a wasp that was dead I, it's you know it sounds stupid when you say it like that but um it really hurts <laughs> it actually really hurts like a lot of people are really scared of wasps and bees and stuff like that i'm really not i just like i'm always of the mindset like just don't panic don't start screaming and shouting and flailing your arms at it and the wasp's gonna leave you alone like i hate when people just get so screamy and scared over them but you know and that has an effect to that but it really i can i can but most like half of them haven't even be stu been stung by wasps it's just like sort of the buzzing and this and stuff like that why people have a phobia of like wasps and stuff like that but when you do get stung by it, it really it really hurts like i didn't i never knew what it like felt like because i've never been stung before and it, it really does hurt like jesus like obviously it happened a while ago now so i can't remember exactly but it was like it how was the pain i'm trying to remember what the pain felt like i don't know it sort of just it was getting worse and worse i couldn't like the i took my so i took my sock off just so like the wasp was sort of gone and you know the wasp was like still stuck to my foot i think i must I, if it wasn't dead by already then i definitely killed it by standing on it um so my foot my foot's really sore it's like it's oh it's it was really horrible i think it was just like the shock as well like the sun shock it's like obviously i don't like wasps so when i got stung by one i was a bit sort of like shocked and a bit sort of like oh gosh what's happened so like I'm hopping through and I'm just sort of like freaking out a bit and I hop through the through across the landing to my brother's room and he's like he's like four years younger than me he's sitting on his iPad and I was like I got stung by a wasp this really hurts this really hurts and he's like oh wow really and it's like and then and then he sort of just sort of go downstairs to mum and then starts ignoring me so it was it was kind of awkward then I hopped down the stairs on one leg just because it I couldn't stand on the I couldn't stand on the foot for like a few hours afterwards it was really, it was genuinely really, I can't remember, I don't know how I would describe the pain, but it was genuinely really sore. I think, like I said, it was just like sort of the shock of it as well. Like I didn't expect it. And then when it happened, I was like, oh geez, what the fuck? So like that didn't really help. And I went downstairs and told mom, she was like, oh gosh, uh, I don't know what to do. So we looked up and you have to like, apparently you have to like wash it with soapy water and then put an ice pack on it after, which like she didn't, no, we, neither of us knew. And then we looked up and it's like, oh, okay, cool. So we did that and then it felt better with like the washing and the ice pack and it started to, the pain started to go. But then whenever I stood on it, it was sore for like a few hours, but it was just, it was a bit, I thought it was an interesting experience because, you know, I got, I can finally say, oh gosh, sorry, hang on. Yeah, that's, um, yeah, I won't describe that, that's disgusting. But yeah, I just thought that was a bit of an interesting story. You know, I got stung by a wasp that was dead, that was not moving, and it was completely my fault. It's like, you know, nice one, nice one, man. That's a, that's a, that's an embarrassing story to tell everyone. So, that was, um, yeah, that was that was something that happened to me a few weeks ago. We can check that off the list, or I say check, like, um, delete it off my note. Someone coming up the stairs. Yes, someone is. Um... Right, next topic. What shall we... I'm sorry, this is, like, really unplanned and everything, but, you know, I'm just being... I've been really, like, honest and raw this uh, this podcast, so, you know, we're just going to keep rolling with it. Um... Oh, pardon me. Um... Uh... Career... Okay. So, in my school recently, there was this, um, like, careers fair thing where there's, like... We, they basically like invited a load of people with like local industries like people from oil industries and like media performing arts like cooking stuff like all sorts of different like career people from like univer local universities and colleges and stuff like that it was basically this big event that happened all day where like um it happened in the hall they had like all their stands and booths and things where you could you know we could all like d at different times different like year groups went went around and we basically could like ask questions and you know about different careers you know you probably experienced something similar if you're like in school or you know it's that sort of thing and um it was mainly it's it's kind of a thing mainly for like older kids like my sort of age who are like closer to leaving school it was open like first years and like second years and all them you know like 11 and 12 year olds whatever like they got to go as well or 13 or something like that I don't know and like they get they got to go as well but like it's not really for them they just sort of 
they just sort of got skived to be honest but for like older people like me who are like leaving school soonish it's like you know pretty decent opportunity and it was it was pretty good it was pretty decent like a lot there was quite there was kind of a variety of careers kind of not it was a bit sort of i don't know there was a lot of sort of the samey samey stuff you always get in these th- sort of things like oil the army and some some like media things from universities you know sort of, sort of the standard stuff but it was quite good there was a lot of stuff the people that were really friendly they were really really they picked some pretty good people to come but um so what was i yeah so basically it gave me sort of like throughout my whole life i've been very sort of like i don't know what i want to do when i grow up i've never had like something that i know i want to do like a career what to do stuff I'm so jealous of people who are like that who know what they want to do it's like I've never really had that and it's like you know the past couple of years you know I'd love to be I'd love to be a youtuber but you know it's like if I'm having this sort of mentality of you know I'll just upload what I want to upload and who gives a shit about consistency then I'm not going to get back on YouTube am I but you know it's like I don't really have like anything that I know I want to do and it's like when I leave school I'm like what am I going to do <laughs> it's like I kind of need to figure out what I'm doing um soon ish so I was like going into this whole careers event thing I was like okay I better like go around asking people questions talking to people you know making connections and that's all that sort of stuff so I, I went around some different places and I feel like after um after after the whole thing I feel like maybe, maybe something like in in media or something I don't know like something like because I love doing YouTube and stuff like that but obviously it's not similar um, it's kind of similar, but it's not the same, obviously. You know, YouTube's something different completely from, like, sort of media jobs and stuff like that. It, it, media is a very sort of broad topic, but, you know, like, that sort of, I don't know, sort of creative stuff or, like, journalism stuff. I don't know. It's like, that. maybe that sort of stuff could be something that I could do because for a while I thought, like, I'd go into, like, physics and engineering and maths and stuff like that, but I'm discovering... As I get like a bit sort of older and a bit sort of like while I'm taking like higher physics and obviously failing my maths, if, if my maths exam this year, I'm, I'm discovering that maybe that's not so good for me. I, do, I, feel, I feel like maybe I'm better with words than numbers, which like I've always been, I used to be good with like both, but I feel like in in my in my older age in my in my senior years I'm becoming I don't know I think I feel, I feel like I'm a bit more of a wordy person than a numbery person. A bit more of a creative person than like a engineering sciencey person even though i'm really interested in like physics and and science and um like astronomy and shit like that it's like i don't know i don't i don't think i have the like the mindset to be like to do like that sort of engineering sort of stuff which you know it, it's a good solid career to get into like science and engineering and maths and numbers and stuff like that but i don't feel like i, I feel like i don't want to do that like and i feel like um with stuff like english and um stuff like that i feel like i'm doing pretty well in and i feel like maybe it's sort, sort of something to do with in that sort of basically words not numbers is, is as far as i've gotten with this whole choosing a career thing <laughs> words not numbers that's that's as far as i've gotten you know it's, it's further on than you know i i was previously maybe not even words but sort of like i don't know that sort of thing i don't know maybe i need to like i said i've been spending some of my time like in holiday sort of researching different things and I don't know maybe obviously I've done YouTube for a few years now but like it's not sort of you know if I if if I was going to walk into like a journalism or like a you know I don't know video you know production company and and show them my YouTube channel with me just sort of swearing at Rocket League I don't I don't think that's really going to get me far is it but it's like I don't know maybe maybe something to do with that I don't know it's just sort of given me like I've got some books and stuff here and like some you know websites I've been looking at and it's like maybe something in with like like film or media or journalism or written stuff i don't know i don't know it just sort of made me think about it a bit more it sort of gave me a bit more of an idea of something that i could maybe do and help me sort of rule out some stuff that i probably definitely won't be doing like like i said with like engineering and physics and stuff like that that was something that i thought i could get into but i'm discovering now that it's just really not my thing um at this point in my life at least but um yeah it's just sort of giving me something to think about and I don't know. I'm planning to do a bit more research into these things and trying to like sort of like a lot of what they said is like I told them about the whole like I do YouTube as a hobby 
like some of the people I was speaking to about this sort of stuff, and they were like, um, oh, okay, that's that's cool. Well, it's like try and like experiment with like different channels doing different videos, like doing like documentaries or you know creative stuff. Like have like a folio of like s different stuff you've done. Have like a website of stuff you've done. Like ah, god. And, um, like I say, it's like, I can't really, you know, I'm not gonna, if I'm going for, like, a job interview at some sort of company, I'm not gonna show them, like, link, link them to videos of me swearing at Rocket League, but it's something that I'm looking into, like, experimenting with different channel ideas, like, obviously, never, I'm not, like, giving up on this channel, it's just, like, stuff to do, like, creatively, like, on the side, like, just sort of experimenting with different types of videos and different types like, of channels, whether or not I'll, like, tell you about it is, I don't know, it's, like, something that I'd sort of just want to experiment to with, on my, like, I haven't made any other channels at this point, but, like, um, like, you know, to experiment with, like, you know, d making documentaries or film work or stuff like that, but it's something that I'm, I might experiment with over the next few months and just sort of see, like, you know, what, what I like, but I'm still keeping this channel, obviously, sort of, just, this is just sort of my hub of, like, me, <laughs> which sounds very, sort of, um, egotistical, but, you know, I'm not moving on from this channel, this is, like, I'm still gonna upload gaming videos and podcasts and you know, keep you up to date with what's going on in my life, just because a couple of people give a shit, which is, which is quite nice, but, you know, um, so, yeah, that was basically my whole experience with things, sort of narrowed me down a little bit to some stuff that I could possibly look into for careers and stuff like this, but I don't know, man, I'm just, like I said, I'm just sort of rolling with it at this point, I'm not really sure what I'm doing in my life, but, I mean, I don't know, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing, do some research into stuff, and just sort of I don't know, just see what happens, I guess. So, also with that careers thing, you'll you'll know with my, with me being the prefect, the prefect. Um, if you watch if you watch my previous po podcast, you will know all about this. Um, we had to do some like stuff for it. We had to like set stuff up, and me and a few of the other ones, like we went to a meeting and we got like different duties of stuff we had to do and stuff. Basically, me and a few of the other guys were like at the front door, like um, sort of meeting, greeting people. Like two of the girls were um like, signing people in, and me and my, my mate were, like, um, like, we, we just sort of had to smile and say, oh, hello, welcome to our school, like, I'm not gonna say the name of the school, because I don't want you tracking me down and, like, finding me and, like, kidnapping me, basically, but, you know, we were, we had to sort of, like, do, be the meet and greet, and while the other, while the, gr while the girls sat down and, like, signed, pe made people sign in, me and my mate sort of, like, just sort of said hello and, like, showed them where they needed to go to, like, the hall where their stand was and stuff like that, so that was what I did for most of my morning, and then in the, um, sort of morning to afternoon, like, sort of third period till about lunchtime, well, that's when we got to, um, like, my year got to go around the places and, like, speak to people, so yeah, that, um, that was, I, I didn't really do much that day in terms of schoolwork, but you know, that's fine, it was, uh, I don't know, it was, it was, it was pretty fun, actually, just sort of standing around for ages, sort of, like, doing, while there was no one coming in, we just sort of got to have a chat at, like, the front office, which was, which was pretty fun. So, yeah, that was basically my day on that day. So, how long has that been so far? <laughs> how It's been a, almost half an hour-ish, some between 25 minutes, half an hour. I don't know how long this one's going to be. Like I said, I'm just sort of, I just sort of want to have a chat with you and get some of these topics off my off my list. Um, I wonder. Thinking about a topic I could t speak about, but I'm wondering if it's going to be interesting at all. Nah, it's not. Um, it was like some more prefect stuff, but it's not really, it's not really, nothing, nothing interesting's happening. Going to a few meetings, doing some stuff, but, um, yeah, we're just gonna leave that for now. Um, what else happened? What else has been going on in my life? Okay, another, uh, another, another funny story, basically. These, these podcasts are turning into less, like, sort of life thing, but I suppose, like, you know, I'm telling you what's happening in my life, some funny stories that are going on in my life, and I can wa watch this back in, like, ten years' time or whatever, and, like, you know, laugh at these funny stories I'm telling you. So, well, funny stories, you know. You know, that's, I'm, 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 a, I'm a pretty funny, buzzing, witty guy, as you can tell. Um, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so low energy today. But, yeah, so, a bit of a funny story. So, um... Obviously, when you go into school, it's like, especially when you first go to, like, secondary school, they're always like, oh, well, we're not responsible for your personal items, like phones. If you leave them in your bag and during PE or whatever, then if they, if you lose them, it's your own fault. And if someone stole them, it's your own fault. So we don't take any responsibility for it, which is like, you know, the standard speech they always give you. Um, so it was, 
the other, it was a few weeks ago now. So I left my phone in my bag for PE as you, as you normally do. And I've never had this problem before. But I go in my bag, I go get changed on this, I go look at my bag, I try and reach in my bag, and I'm trying to find my phone, it's not there. So I'm like, okay, this sometimes happens, sometimes I sort of just lose it in the folders and the papers and all this stuff. So I'm like, I'm reaching in, I'm trying to find it, but it's like, okay, I'm going to be late for my class, so I'll just go, I'll go to the class and try and find it once I've sat, settled down in there, which is what I often do. Like I said, I often like take a while just to find it in my bag. So I go to the next class, and I start searching, like I make sure it's nowhere in the changing rooms just in case and um so I go searching my bag once I'm in the class and um ah oh gosh struggling to speak <laughs> probably not get myself all choked up um so yeah I go I go in my bag during the class and it's like it's not it's it's just not there I just can't find it and I was like you know good five ten minutes like while everyone else was starting their work I was like still trying to find my phone and uh, the teacher didn't really notice me but I was still trying to find out I was like oh crap where is it I said to my mate like dude it, have you like have one of you's like taken my phone as like a like a joke or something and he was like no like I could tell he was serious they he genuinely hadn't or he hadn't but um so so he was like dude we'll, we'll find it later it'll probably just be like in the change rooms or like if you, are you sure you've checked your bag are you absolutely sure I was like yes I can't, I can't find it so then um, so yeah, then that period ends and it's lunchtime. So then we go to the place where we always hang out and then the rest of my mates come around. And I'm like, okay, like genu genuinely have any of you taken my phone? Because like, I was, I was getting quite stressed out about it at that point. I was like, li like during that maths class, um, I was genuinely like, oh shit, oh my God. Can, can you imagine if I've actually lost my phone? Like, what the fuck? I, like, I never thought this would actually happen to me. It's like, you know, your worst nightmare losing your phone at school. Cause like, it's like, you know, it's, it's worth a lot of money and it's got a lot of stuff on it and like you know I wouldn't want to go you know having to go home and say to my mom oh I've, I've lost my phone I, I don't know what I've left it in my bag and it was gone like I don't I don't want to have to go home and be like oh mom I need a new phone it's you know so I, I was getting pretty stressed out and so I go up to my all my mates like Did, have any genuinely have any of you taken it I'm serious right now because you know what whatever had to you know joke or whatever but I, I'm really stressed out right now and they're like no like none of none of genuinely none of them had taken it I can tell um so they, they were like, okay, we'll help you find it. So I go around, like, um, all my previous classes in case, like, it fell out of my pocket at any point. Go to the PE changing rooms. You know, I search through my bag, like, multiple... I literally, I literally empty everything, like, pretty much everything out. I look through, and it's definitely not there. So I'm like, shit, what, I was getting honestly really stressed out. We were going, to, like, all, all about the place. They were, they were ringing the phone, and, like... It was it was it was getting pretty grim. It was pretty getting pretty grim. A couple of them were like joking about about it, and like I was I was you know getting in on the jokes and stuff like that, trying to be like positive. But on the inside, I was like, Sh oh, I'm really stressed out right now. I, I'm really kind of getting like, oh shit. I'm, I was panicking just because you know I have a lot of stuff on my phone, like a lot of pictures and you know all this stuff, and it's like you know worth a lot of money as well, and you know sentimental value of like stuff on it, and it's like, oh, shit. What am I gonna do? So it's like like 10 15 minutes before lunch ends I'm like oh, shit what am I gonna do now so uh we're trying like to use like the find my phone thing through like gmail on their phones like I sign in with my gmail account and try and like locate it but it just comes up with like the, the school so it doesn't like tell you exactly where in the school so it's like I was asking a few people if they if they knew anything about it, if someone had like taken it during PE as a joke and I wasn't getting any results and then and then um uh, did anything else happen? Yeah, I think that was it. Basically, I was getting pretty stressed out. They'd all, like, spent a lot of their lunchtime just trying to find my fucking phone. And, you know, fair play to them. was really good of them to do. But it got to the point where like, I was I was really annoyed. They were like, oh, shit, what are we going to do? So we, we were all, like, around the place where we usually hang out. I go through my phone. They're, um, one of them is still ringing it um, every now and then. And he rings it, like, you know, tries to ring my phone. I'm like, okay, it's, you know, it's on vibrate, obviously. And he starts ringing it, and I start hearing a vibrating, like the vibrating on my phone. It's like, wait, do I do I actually hear? I'm like, shut up. Do I actually hear it? And I actually heard it, and I went through my bag, and 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 I and I found it in in the bag. It it was literally there, and um, uh, it it was in the bag, the in my bag, which I went through about ten times. It was it was in there the whole time, and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's been a bit of a running joke ever since uh, oh Drew have you lost your phone again like every single lunchtime it's like Drew do you want me to ring your phone just 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 taking the piss and like literally the second I pulled it out of the bag uh, pulled it out of the bag yeah 
um, I literally pull. I was literally kneeling on the floor. I pulled it out of my bag. I literally fell back on my bag. On my, I, I was like, oh thank gosh. But before I did that, I was obviously like, oh my god, I look like such an idiot in front of everyone. Like we told a lot of people, like I've lost my phone. Can you like keep an eye out for anything like it? And they were like, okay, yeah, sure. And then when everyone came, like you know saw everyone walking past every now and then, it's like, oh, did you find your phone? I was like, yeah, yeah, it was, it was in my bag. And then, and then my mates obviously they were like, dude, you're a fucking idiot. What the hell is wrong with you? It was in the bag the whole time. You're a muppet. You're a mug. And I'm like, I know, I know. But once I knew I found my phone and it was safe, because obviously, phone has a lot of stuff on it. <coughs> <coughs> oh my gosh, that was sudden. But just knowing I had my phone safe, I literally just fell back on my, I fell back on my, on my back, just laying there on the floor in the middle of the corridor. Oh my gosh, I spent so long. I was so panicky. I'm glad I had my phone, but I look like such an idiot in front of everyone. And I'm just like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, and they're like, you're such a mug, you're such a muppet, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I know, I'm sorry, and, um, it was pretty funny, it's, 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 you know, sparked a few, it's, you know, it's become a bit of a running joke, not massively, but every now and then, just, they'll just, <laughs> just literally just say, oh, Drew, have you lost your phone again? Drew, do you want me to ring your phone? And I'm just like, yeah, sometimes I make jokes about it, just because I'm, cause I'm always one to sort of laugh at myself. But um, yeah, that was that was an experience I had, and it was um, it was it was pretty funny at the time. But um, it was I felt like an absolute muffet. I felt like such a mug. So yeah, it's getting it's getting a bit cold. Well, I say cold, not very cold. But I should probably be shutting these, to be honest. So how long has that been? Oh man, thirty-five minutes. Thirty-five minutes ish. This podcast probably won't be particularly long, but I said this before, I'll say it again. I kind of just want to have a chat. You get some of these off my notes just to sort of get them out there. And a lot of these topics aren't really like topics that I'm like having a discussion about. It's just sort of telling you what's going on in my life, <laughs> which, you know, it's very sort of um, self centered. But, you know, let me, if you've got funny stories, if you've got something that's going on in your life at the moment, just be honest. Be honest in the comments. If Or you can private mess me, message me if it's like a bit private. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm just I don't know. I just, I'm just gonna be, I'm just being completely honest and like upfront with you. Like I've, I've always been honest, but it's like I'm just being much more sort of blunt about it now. <laughs> I've just got that mindset of just like, you know what, fuck it. You're all, we're all mates here. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna say what I want. And it's like, you know, like I, said, I don't think I, I don't think I've ever been dishonest before. Like, you know, in a, in a major way. But it's like, you know, I'm just gonna be sort of a lot more upfront with things and not worry about offending people. Which is, you know, a good mentality to have. Um, what's this? Cross country. Yeah, I ran across country. The other, I say across country. It was like, how long was it? It was either two, three, or six miles. I don't think it was six miles. Fucking hell. Um, I think it might have been three or something. I don't know, but it was pretty. It was. It felt pretty long. I'm not in the best shape. I was in. I was in pretty decent shape. I've sort of let my sort of workout routine slide a little bit um, over the past couple of weeks. I'm meaning to get back into that once. The holidays was like over ish, um, but I was in, I was in kind of good shape ish, but I've always just had this sort of natural thing for like running like long distance running. I've always had like a lot of stamina and just been sort of being able to just push myself to just keep going, and I don't know. I'm just I've just, just sort of got a natural ability for. Obviously, it's not like long long distance, but you know, for that sort of you know, I've always had that sort of stamina for like you know those sorts of runs, so. Brian. Brian? I'm sure it is. Everyone just calls him Jordy though on YouTube. Wait, what's his last name? I don't know. Brian. Brian. <laughs> <coughs> his, name's, his last name's not Jordy, is it? You realize what, do you realise what Jordy means? Are you from Newcastle? Yeah. No, um, his first name's The, middle name's True, last name Jordy. Yeah, uh, you're funny. I know. He's just had a shower and he comes in to speak to me about the true Geordie. It's like, he's literally in his towel, like half naked. He's like, what's the true Geordie's first name? I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, anyway, I don't, can you hear me right now? I think so. Okay, so, yeah, like I said, I've always been, like, decent at, like, long distance-ish running. But, like, um, there was, for some reason, they separate, it was like, it's like a, like a, in our school we have, like, houses. I've probably spoken about this before. It was like a sort of house week thing where we have like loads of events and like you can win house points. It's like running and like, you know, activities and stuff. It's like just sort of like, 
you know, it's you know, it's kind of it's kind of shitty, but it's like you know, it's it's it can be fun sometimes. Um, but yeah, so there was like a, this sort of cross country sort of run, which um, uh, we were doing, and there was like you know loads of people from each house obviously and for some reason they split up the girls and the boys it was i don't, I don't know what I, I i thought it was just gonna be like a you know everyone together but for some reason they made there was like a boys race and a girls race which i didn't really get like it's they don't usually do that it's like if it's like you know um like sprints or stuff like that or like just round the track once then it's like yeah fair enough if, it, if there's just like six people it's, so it's like easier to differentiate through the groups but it's like when it's just a like a cross country it's like why would you like, why would you split? Maybe because there's too many people? I don't know. But, I mean, I don't know. It seemed a bit sexist. But And I think they made girls race shorter, actually. I think they genuinely did that. I was like, what the fuck? That's just straight up sexist. Like, there's most of the girls there were fitter than I was. Not, like, as in, like, good look at men. As in, like, physical, physically, you know. We, we all know what I'm speaking about, lads. You know. Uh. <laughs> anyway. Um, but, yeah. So, I did that. And I, w- I, was ca- I wasn't, like, very confident. Just because I thought... I. I, th- I think everyone thought it was going to be longer than it was. It was pretty decently long, actually. I don't know how long it actually was, but everyone was like, that. This, you know, first, you know, chill out sc- school cross country. It was meant to be for fun. It was pretty decently long. So, but I wasn't, so, but I was, I was, you know, I was okay with that. I was like, you know, it's a long distance sort of run. I'm usually pretty decent at those, even when I'm not like, at my fittest. But we get down there and um, <laughs> there's like 30 people in doing the boys race. And, you know, obviously they, they go around, people have to, you know, sign up for it. And, like, when they, you know, like, the people who, you know, organise the races come around all the classes and, like, oh, we need people to sign up for this race to do. And it's, like, usually, like, like in the class, and it's, like, you know, usually all the, like, they get all the sporty people to sign up for it just because they're the fittest. And, you know, I'm, like, usually they come to me and, like, out of all my mates, I'm, like, probably the most athletic, <laughs> which is which is really sad to say. Um, it's in like, it's in fitness levels, but, um, so I sort of signed up for it, just like, yeah, fine, whatever, it's like, you know, it's, it's one of those things, like, they always come around, I'm like, yeah, whatever, I don't really care, I'll easily do it, it's, you know, it doesn't really matter for anything, so I sign up for it, but then, like, everyone who's doing it, 30 people who I'm up against are, like, <laughs> at least, like, 25 of them are, like, okay, maybe not 25, but, like, 20 to 25 of them, it's always, it's, like, the most athletic, sporty, people who are doing it it's like you know the, you know those guys they're like go play sports every single day in the in the in the games hall or whatever and they'll like you know they have these you know morning sessions people go swimming and they're they're really healthy and like they always eat you know healthy things and they're just they're, they're always like doing these like sports stuff just you know the sport the sporty athletic people which you know some, you know, most of them are all right people, but it's just like, you know, stop showing off, mate, stop showing off. Um, so yeah, I was up against a lot of people, you know, most of the people there were absolutely more fit than I was, um, which I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. You know, when I saw, I saw the people who were doing that, I was like, yeah, this is the, uh, these, these are the athletic people. And a couple of us who were like a lot less, you know, just completely not fit, we were like, we're going to get smashed. We're going to get smashed here, lads. Um, but I don't know why I paused there. Um, so yeah, I was going around, I was like, I was kind of like quite near the back, um, for the first lap, but then I sort of start, because I'm always quite good at this, just sort of keeping the same pace, where everyone else is sort of like fluctuating, going fast, and then burning out, and then slowing down, I, I'm usually keeping a steady pace, and, um, I was like, I was passing a decent amount of people, I was about middle of the pack, honestly, but then, because we were going like around, like the school, like around sort of the back, we had to go through like the woods, um, along the track, and a lot of people, were cutting across, the, they were taking the shortcut through the woods, they were like cutting, like, instead of taking the path that we were supposed to be taking, they literally cut through the woods, and cut out, like, loads of their stuff, like, loads of the race for themselves, and, like, this is a lot of the athletic people, honestly, these people who, like, play football, you know, you know, go, you know, play football, like, for the school team, or, like, you know, whatever, you know, think they're so fit, it's like, I would, I would, I would have beat it, I would have been, like, much, I would have finished much higher up, they had cheated, you know, well, no, it wasn't like the sporty athletic people who were like going to be first anyway, but a lot like, um, just like some people were just cutting across, like maybe not the most fit people, but a lot of the people like, I don't know, basically some of the football people is what, you know, I love football as much as the next guy, but it's like, it was just sort of those people, you know, those people, yeah, <laughs> um, 
but yeah, basically a few a few people were cheating cutting across the woods, and also my shoelace coming came undone twice throughout the whole race, so that didn't help. And I wasn't cheating at all, I must add. And I still I came 18th out of a possible 30, which, you know, it's not bad considering most like a lot like there was at least 20 of the people were like you know the the more not the most but you know the more physical athletic you know they do a lot of sports and all this stuff it was that sort of group who were doing it one guy the guy who came first he's like he, he does running like all the time he does like cross national cross countries and stuff like that and you know he's like he's really into running he does really long distances you know like i said for, for national in international competitions and stuff like that he he does the whole race and this is like nothing to him and then he goes around like the the track and like runs around it for like an hour afterwards or something like that and it's just like he keeps running around and most of us are like dead well not dead but like i'm not well not dead but my legs are pretty sore and i'm like pretty tired afterwards and he's just keeping going and most like pretty much everyone else is just like you know all right mate calm down fucking hell you know it's like no need to show off but I don't know, I thought that was a bit sort of weird. It's like, you know, I don't know. And that guy was pretty intense. But yeah, I came 18th, which, you know, was okay considering my competition and the fact that people were cheating and my shoelace kept going on and done. That was my own fault, to be honest. I probably should have invested in actual shoes, but I just used, I used this same pair of shoes for like everything, to be honest. So um, yeah, that's, that was, that was the thing that happened. In my, I don't, I don't know why, why it, it, it just said cross country there, and I just thought I'd talk about it, and um, like that probably wasn't interesting to you at all. But you know what? That's um, that's fine. That's um, I don't know. I didn't mean to speak about that for that long, but I just sort of, I get in the zone. <sighs> so, oh, I'm tired. I just want to sleep. Actually, I can't. I couldn't, wouldn't be able to sleep. But I'm just, I just want to sort of sit and do nothing and just watch some videos. But I have to edit. I have to edit. I need to get a video finished, and I haven't finished it. Sick. <laughs> um, how am I gonna do that? I've got a video to edit. And I'm going away soon, and oh gosh, I'm not gonna get these videos up. Sick. I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway, so I feel like this 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 will be the last topic. This I don't know how long or short this one will be. Basically, I tweeted about this not long ago. Um. Uh, before the beginning of the holidays, this I don't know when this will be going up. Basically, when this goes up, I'll I'll have been on, I'll be on holiday right now. The holidays will be over like at the end of this week, but when this goes up, so that, you know, two week holiday. I don't know if you have like October holidays in other places. I don't think you do. But um, you know, obviously holiday for two weeks, um, end of, end of term, and um, one of my mates were. It, it was. What, but okay, one of my mates was um, it was his, it was his last day. Cause so obviously, when you get to this sort of stage in school, people obviously start leaving. You know, people leave in fourth year, fifth year, sixth year, leaving at different times. Um, you know, different points to pursue. You know, their you know to get out in the big wide world and just pursue. You know, do what they want to do. You know, pursue their goals and achieve their dreams and all this bullshit. And um, one of my mates was um was was leaving. It was his last day on the last day. He he's going to join like um like the army or do some sort of army training something to do with like armies and stuff like that <laughs> something to do with armies that sounds terrible but yeah he was going away to do that so something about that and um it was it was it was kind of sad because like we weren't that close honestly but we it was like <laughs> it's funny actually because I used to hate him I used to really hate him because there was a bit of um you know. <sighs> things to do with, you know, women in our lives and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into that at all. But um, no no one at school actually knows about this YouTube channel, so it's like, I'm not, I'm not gonna, still not going to name names, but I'm not going to go into that bit still, you know. If they were, I probably wouldn't, like, mention that. But, um, <clears throat> God. So, yeah, um, but I used to, like, really not like him. But uh, over the past, like, how long has it been? Like, probably almost y year or something? Like, for a few months now it's like so we've been getting more friendly like talking more like in school and just like we have some like common interests about like football and stuff like that and it was i was getting more friendly with him i wasn't like massively friendly with him but i was i was feeling like you know if he's you know we could have been like closer friends I don't want to sound like really like you know pussy about the whole situation but you know i was i was getting vaguely close to him we weren't like great great friends but we were you know we were, we were pretty you know friendly and um, then, you know, he's leaving, obviously. 
and he's like you know saying why to everyone everyone's kind of like not everyone's like you know sad about the whole you know every, obviously people are sad that he's leaving but it's like you know it wasn't like you know that you know you know you know it wasn't really emotional it was just it was it was kind of sad you know he's, he's leaving and everything you know we wish him well and all this sort of stuff but it was a bit sort of like sad to you know see like you know a, you know a good mate sort of like leaving and you know off to pursue a part of life and you know I'll still speak to him on Facebook from time to time but you know he'll he'll be he'll be gone and to do other things and it sort of made me think about how like at this stage of my life this is what's going to start happening isn't it like I was thinking about this the other day like think about thinking about like um like this is my second life assuming you know the next year if I stay on the next year for school that'll be my last year of like like um of actual like full-time education like secondary school I'll move into like uni or college or work or whatever I do but like like when you know in that last in that like la- you know sixth year of school that last year um like you know ha- half the people aren't there anymore like m- even more than that because they've you know moved on they've got their qualifications their exams they've moved on to do whatever they're doing and it's like you know most you know it's like you know people are going to move on and like maybe they'll still be here but or they might like move across the world or you know stuff like that and it's like it's i'm 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 at a part of my life where i've so i've always known this time of my life is coming but it's like i don't know now that it's here it's like it's it's real almost so you know I'm, i've done exams months ago now people are leaving to you know go out into the world to get jobs and to do all sorts of stuff and you know i, I don't know like I said, I don't really know what I'm going to do after school and stuff like this, but, you know, I feel like a lot of people are probably in the same boat as me, but I feel like a lot of people are, in, you know, in the same boat as in, like, you know, I'm still a kid. I'm not by any means an adult, you know. I'm not I'm not prepared to, you know, go on and move out and to go and do other stuff. Um, You know, for me personally, I feel like, you know, most, a lot of people are, you know, even, like, I was speaking to Matt the other night on, um, was it, was it Matt speaking, was Matt speaking to me? Or was this on a video? Matt, were you speaking to me? Was it that night we were playing Rocket League, or was it on a video? You said I don't know. I think I think it was when you were speaking to me. When I don't know, but yeah, I'm just speaking about how like you know you're 18, you still feel like you're a kid. Um, I don't know if it was us speaking of you said that on video, but it's like you know, I, you know, obviously I'm I'm nowhere near like you know, you know I've I still got a year and a half, you know, year and a half and a bit more of school left. And it's like, even after that, I'm, I don't know when I'm going to, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with my life for the next, you know, the next five years for me are going to be cr- weird. I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest. I'm completely clueless about how it's going to go. But obviously people are going to, you know, leave and, you know, leave your life and go on to pursue their life goals and stuff like this. And this is, this is a situation I had um before. It's like um a couple of Jeez, it was ages ago now, like last year. Coming up on coming up on two years. Wow, coming up coming up on two years. I th- I think. Would that be right? Yeah, yeah. Coming up on two years now since um, a guy who is like my best my best mate basically, um, sort of ish. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> we, we, we were pretty good mates we like you know like we were always like so, you know sat together on the bus like going to school and we were always like you know we were always talking we always had you know he was such a funny guy it was like it was basically you know he moved to another school and he was like what you know one of my best mates and it was you know it was quite sad and you know obviously that happens in life people move on obviously that's a different situation he moved to a different school but i don't know that was kind of a weird situation because he was like I knew him, we went to the same primary school, I'd, I'd known him since we were, like, four or five, but I never, like, I was never, like, friends with him until, like, like, a year and a bit before he left to go to another school, which was kind of weird, which is kind of, you know, I wish I'd known him properly, like, when we were really young, we could have had, like, you know, properly grown up together, because he was an awesome guy, and I kind of miss him a lot of time, we still speak from, we don't honestly keep in touch that much, but, you know, it's it was kind of weird, like, recently, like, I say recently, a few months ago now, um, when we met up again, like, for the first time in, like, since he left, or so, I don't know if it was since he left, but first time in, like, freaking ages, and it felt like forever since we'd, like, s- properly spoken to each other, and it was just, like, you know, we'd, like, he'd never left, and we were just, like, chatting away, and it's, like, it was, <laughs> that was, it was so funny, just, like, some of the jokes and stuff like that, it's, like, as if he'd never gone, but 
basically I'm getting really deep right now so I'm like Drew you're such a fucking pussy stop being such a fucking pussy man up about the situation okay I'm sorry mate I'm sorry oh god the water splashed back in my nose that's horrible oh gosh but yeah so what I'm saying is my phone's on one percent that's grim that's gonna run out soon but yeah so basically like I said I'm in that stage of my life where people are gonna be moving on doing other things and I don't know what I'm gonna do about the whole situation because like I don't know it's gonna be it'll be interesting to see but that was an interesting thing you know people leaving light leaving your life going going on to pursue other things moving schools going on to pursue their dreams and their goals and careers and all this stuff and it was just you know I was reflecting on the whole situation about people who came into my life who left my life you know going on to do other things and it just don't make me reflect on the whole situation I don't know maybe you can relate to that um you know with the whole thing move it, friends moving to other schools friends leaving school uh all that sort of stuff but um yeah I didn't really get I don't know I got kind of deep with that thing but like with my friend moving school I didn't get like fully into that but you know I can't really be bothered to get into that tonight so is that it I feel like my phone's over there now on the bed I got new bed sheets recently I don't, I don't know why I'm telling you this but like they're new and it's quite nice I've got like this this like thin layer above my mattress like I've got I've got the mattress and the sheet now I've got this like warm fleecy thing that goes over the top it's really warm like I used to have like just the sheets and it was like you know kind of cold when you get in it was like really smooth and cold and it was quite nice during the summer when you got in but now it's starting to get colder and this warm thing it's just it's just like not cold as soon as you go in like obviously the bed wasn't like cold cold but you know what like when you've got sheets that haven't been laying in for like 12 hours or whatever and it's like you know they're, you know they're kind of cool and smooth and all this that's just warm it's just like warm as soon as you get in the bed like not warm but it's just like like is it not warm it's not like hot in there but it's just like not cold and it's just like i don't know it's, it's quite nice i quite like it <laughs> why did i tell why did i tell you that can someone answer me that i don't know why um but yeah i think that's it so i've listened i've gotten i've cleaned up a few of those topics on that i've um i've basically chatted shit at you these <laughs> i say this every time my throat ah I had a bit of a sore throat and I thought it was healing, but I think talking for an hour has just completely fucked it. I genuinely think it has. Oh, it's grim. Um, but yeah, I think after every single podcast, I feel like I've just rambled on at you for for an hour. But I feel like that every time. But this time I genuinely feel like I have just because I've had a very sort of laid back, don't give a shit out. <laughs> I've got an a- a- attitude, you know. I'm a, I'm a, real, I'm a real cool guy. But uh, I'm, I'm fiddling with this like, the like ropes of my you know like what what do you call this trousers i guess <laughs> i'm just sort of you know fiddling with these little like bits you know you know these things why am i telling you this i don't know i don't know why i feel the need to speak about every single thing i don't know yeah i'm going to i'm going to stop rambling um yeah i don't know if you've enjoyed listening to that if you have then great if you haven't i'm sorry for wasting your time <laughs> but um you know what like i said it's just put stick these on when you, like in the background of you studying or playing playing a bit of rocket league or you know just playing you know just playing games or reading probably not when you're reading that probably wouldn't be good <laughs> you, know, you know reading a really serious reading 50 shades of gray with my my annoying voice just over the top of it <laughs> uh, that'd be, that'd be, maybe i should maybe i should get into like audiobooks maybe, maybe that'd be a good idea i know a guy actually who like he does like this amazing impression of like you know those guided tours you get when you go like visit like a castle or like some historical monument or like you know area thing you know you get like a guided tour where you stick headphones on and they like explain to you what this part of the castle represents or you know whatever and it's like my mate can do like the perfect the perfect impression of one of them it's like you know that really posh english sort of accent like really soft voice he does it perfectly so yeah, maybe I should get into audiobooks. I think would you would you listen to me reading Fifty Shades of Grey? I think I think I I think I'd do well with it. I've never actually read the book and I've never actually seen the film, but you know we all know what it's about. Plenty of jokes have been made about it on the internet. But uh, <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't know. Um, so yeah, thank you very 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 much for watching, stuff, listening, everyone. If you enjoyed it, then I've got plenty more like this. Uh, I don't know when the next one's gonna be. But uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed it, then sick. If you haven't, I'm sorry for wasting your time. But you know, you knew what you were getting into. To be honest, it was just gonna be me rambling. Like I said, not really topics, just sort of stuff that's been happening in my life. Probably not interesting. But I don't know. Maybe you enjoyed listening to some of the stories. Maybe you can relate to some of the stuff I've been speaking about. Maybe I've informed you, entertained you, 
related with you. I don't know. Maybe maybe we just had this connection through this through this camera right here. But um, either way, I've I've had a I've had a terrible time. I'm joking. I've had a pretty good decent time. My throat's terrible. I'm low energy, but I feel like that's been decent. I feel like I don't know. I've just sort of chatted. It's been a nice chat. It's been a nice chat, lad. So I'll see you in the next one. So thank you very 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 much for watching. What? watching everyone uh i love you all sorry i've been really inconsistent but you know i'm just sort of i'm just sort of going with the flow at the moment with my entire life i'm getting ready to do my intro so thank you very 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 much for watching everyone i love you thank you for listening take care bye bye for now but um like i said i don't know how good that's been but um i've just i've just got such a i don't give a shit attitude recently but i don't know it's been it's been pretty fun either way